We're going to go through moving objects around in this video. It's a fairly straightforward process, but there are a few little tricks to make things a little bit easier and make sure you get the result you're after. First thing that we need to do is have the selection tool activated. The shortcut for this is the space bar on your keyboard. The next thing that we need to do in general is hold down the left mouse button over an object that, that we want to move and then drag our mouse sideways and then release when it is in the position that we want. Now that's fairly straightforward but what we might find is that we want a very particular part of a shape to align with a very particular part of another shape. So what I'm going to do for this example is I want this corner here to snap onto that corner there. So what I can do is I can hover them over and it's kind of been magnetized to that point. How this happens is uh, using some snapping properties. So if you have a look under Arrange you'll see there's an object snap and also a grid snap. So the grid is these squares in the background here and object is snapping based on points within an object and the ones that generally you can snap to are corners, midpoints, the center and there's a nifty way to use this object that sits in the center of a shape that you have selected as well. So, I'm going to turn off the grid snap and it'll allow us to move this object around freely without it snapping onto the grid and you'll be able to see the different snap points. So here I can snap onto the corner. I can also snap onto the midpoint of this object. But sometimes I will want a part of this object in particular to snap onto a part of another object. Now I could nominate that I wanted about here to snap onto there. And a way that I could make this happen is to grab this toggle point in the middle and drag it over to the part that I want to snap. And now I can drag it over and it will lock onto that point. This would be really handy with a circle. This also allows us to rotate an object around that point as well. We can also use the move option to move around groups and text. Now I've got a scenario here of some items that might be in a key or legend and I'm trying to move those around but what you might find is you can't quite get the desired results because it's not snapping onto the grid exactly how you would like to. You could either go to the effort of moving these points around and then snapping those to the grid or what you could do is use one of the uh, right click functions to do this quickly um, using, using alignment. So I've highlighted objects that all I want to align. I've right clicked. I can come down to align and I know that I could align these vertically and it will put them all in a straight line vertically. Let's go back one step and what I could have also done is align them to the left and this might make this make a little bit more sense. I'm going to highlight these, right click, go align and align left and it's brought them all over to the item which was furthest on the left. If I had have aligned to the right, it would have brought them all over to the right. What I can also do is get them to be spaced nicely and evenly by right click space and space vertically and now it's got the exact same distance between each item. So take some time out to have a look at these different functions using the left click for alignment and spacing. There's also center and we can flip items as well.